Hi guys! I'm back again for another video. It's Fallon Painter. That's my name. Let's ignore that. <laughs> and today's video is going to be all about winter style dips and what to do to still be cute but be warm too. How to find a good balance between the two. Um, by all means, I'm no fashion designer or stylist by trade, so <laughs> some of these things you might not agree with, some of them may not work for you and what you are specifically wanting, but it's always good to have a go and try it out and they might actually work for you. I find they work for me sometimes. I don't always use all of them because at the end of the day I'm more that person that if it's cold, I'm a wrap up. But recently I've been more into <laughs> what works and what doesn't. So I'm going to help you out a little bit. And if you know some other tips that aren't in here, let me know down below. And if you want to see a part two, including those, like and subscribe and comment. Thanks. Okay. So, tip number one. Wearing a long sleeve top underneath a really cute summer top that you really like or that you think is just super cute, but it's obviously going to be too cold for winter. So, wearing a long sleeve top underneath it just gives the warmth to your arms while still looking cute on here. Obviously, wearing pant on pattern might clash, so if you have a plain black, white, or colour that's maybe in the cute top that you're wearing, it will just make it look nice and obviously draw more attention to the colourful top you're wearing. Also, I forgot to mention before, I'll obviously be telling you the tip and then showing you the stars after. So yeah, I'll give you a look at what that can look like when you're wearing a long sleeve top and a cute summer, summer one. <laughs> I'm just going to say top throughout this video so many times and I apologise in advance. Alright, tip number two. Find some really cute but casual sort of boots that you can either updress or downdress. Like, well, not downdress, but obviously you can updress it. So, I bought, because I don't have that many boots because I don't buy for winter, because the other three summers, no, three summers, <laughs> the other three seasons out of the year for Australia, they're all pretty much warm. So, you can all pretty much wear summer clothing throughout the whole rest of them. Winter's the only one where it actually really gets cold cold. Um, autumn and spring it sort of depends like you can have cooler days and whatnot but they're mainly warm and obviously summer is really really hot. So I never really had boots but I recently just got some boots. Um, they are ankle high and they've got like a little bit of a heel but not too much and they've got proper like a boot tread underneath them. I absolutely love them. Um, the reason for my actual tip though is to get yourself some cute casual boots is because in winter you're obviously cold so you want to keep your feet warm and if it's been raining like we get rain here in winter quite a bit you don't want to be stepping in mud so getting a pair of black obviously leathery type ones or fake leather or whatever you can wipe them off and clean them pretty damn easy and they're black so they're not going to show up as much dirt as if you were white or a light colour so, and they just look cute and they go with pretty much everything you can wear them with a skirt you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with leggings you can wear them with tights so get some cute casual Boots. They can be low, they don't have to be like ankle. Um, 
the, they can be like super low. Mine have got a bit of height to them and that's just the type of style I wanted and I liked. So it's really up to you. And I'll show you some looks with them. Tip number three. If you're not really keen on the long sleeve option, I probably should have put this tip before tip number three. No, it's okay. Tip number three. <laughs> if you're not so keen on the long sleeve um, and you've got more of like these really cute sweaters you want to wear, this is where this tip more comes in handy. So if you've got a sweater like this, mine's super thin material this one is, so it's comfortable while I'm at home but when I go out it will probably get colder so I've either then got to put a jacket over it or if you really like it and you don't want to carry a jacket around with you, just pop a singlet on underneath and it's going to keep your torso and chest warm. I mean your arms are still going to be a little bit colder but they tend to be warm more when you've already got when you've got more heat on you holding the heat in and then if it's a short sleeve one you can always bring an extra jacket just in, just in case if you know it's going to be super cold. But for just when it's a bit of a windier day you're wearing a sweater and you're like Oh, I don't know, I might get a bit cold. Pop a singlet on underneath or a little like t-shirt top. Pop that on underneath and that's going to keep you so much warmer than just a thin sweater on its own. Number four. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start. It's getting some really cute knee high boots because they are gonna look smashing with a skirt or like a dress or when you go out. They're gonna be like, you're going out winter shoes. So going out on a date or hanging with your friends for an evening or you know, just when you know you're not going to be out for the whole day or you've got a special event on, I'd wear some really cute knee high boots. And then you can pop a bit of colour in or you can keep them black as well. They are, they are my dressier option because of the fact that I can't wear them all day because they hurt my feet. Get them and I'll show you some really cute dressier, cute date like going out outfits with them on. Tip number five. A long cardigan if you're wearing like a skirt and tights or jeans and a nice top and then your boots. It looks nice, it looks classy, it's a winter style because you've got the length of the cardigan to keep your legs warm plus keep up your back. Although, if it's a thin cardigan, 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 thin cardigan, it's going to maybe not be as warm on something if you're just wearing like a short sleeve or a singlet tight kind of top. You probably will have to wear a longer sleeve top or a thicker top where it doesn't matter so much that your arms are a little bit less covered because that's going to be warm. So at least with a cardigan, you have the accessibility to take it on and off and you don't have to wear long sleeve underneath it if you don't want you can just wear a t-shirt and it's still going to keep you warm especially when it's long because you can just wrap it around you like a little blanket if you're going to like the cinema or something you just pop it over your legs and you know you get cold Alright, another really obvious tip, but some people sort of forget it or they don't really think it works or looks good, is wearing tights underneath skirts or shorts. Um, they don't have to be patent tights, they don't have to be colourful, they can legit be skin colour, they can be navy blue or they can be black. 
they're gonna obviously keep your legs warm because you're wearing a skirt. It, yeah, in winter you don't have to feel like you can't wear a skirt or shorts because there is the option of having the tights underneath. If you're not a skirts or a shorts kind of person in winter, then don't. Just wear your jeans and your leggings and that's cool. But if you do really have a really pretty cute skirt that you want to wear, but you're like, oh, it's too cold, I can't wear that, well, you can just put some tights on. And by tights, I mean like hosiery tights. I don't know if I said that right. Like stockings. That's another word for it. <laughs> Instead of just like legging tights. Um, or you can wear legging tights. <sighs> Works too. So, there's some looks on that tip. Alrighty, so that's all the tips I've got for you today. Um, sorry if you didn't like my tips. Sorry if you're never gonna use them. And sorry in advance if this bored you entirely. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. If you do like tips, if you think they're gonna work and you wanna try them out, let me know. Send me pictures of tips that you did try. Or, yes, yeah, send me some pictures of the tips that you did try and whether you liked it or not or whether you think something else works, some tips I missed or whatnot, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you did like this video and you didn't get bored, I appreciate it and I love you and thank you for watching till the end. I will see you in the next video. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more and if you want to see more videos like this, i.e. tips or tricks or hacks, let me know. Bye.